Hi friends, it's me, Ms. V, your school counselor. Welcome back to a new school year. I'm really excited to spend a little bit of time with you today, letting you know a little bit about me and also about what school counselors do and how you can reach me if you need to. So you might be thinking, who is your school counselor? Some of you may not remember who I am. Some of you may be new to the school. And for some of you, I'm brand new to you. My name is Vanessa Mueller Liley, and that's kind of tricky to say. So most people call me Mrs. V. This year, I'm gonna split my time between two schools, Lydixon and Walnut Grove. I'm really excited to be a Lancer and a Roadrunner and work with all of you this year. Something that you might not know about me is that when I'm not at work, you can find me outdoors and hanging out with my family and my dog, Delilah. So you might be thinking to yourself, what do school counselors do? Maybe you don't remember what school counselors do, or maybe you've just never worked with a school counselor before. So I wanna give you some information about what I do. One of the most important things for you to know is that school counselors help kids. And there are a lot of different ways that school counselors might do that. One of the most important ways that school counselors help students is they help them with big feelings. Everybody has big feelings sometimes, and so school counselors can help when students are angry. Take a minute to think about the last time you were angry. And some feelings words that might go with angry are frustrated or irritated or upset. Everybody feels this way sometimes. And when we have big feelings, sometimes we might do or say things that are not very nice and kind, or we might do or say things that could get us into trouble. And so school counselors work with students to make sure that they have some tools to use so that we can calm down and we can show our anger in a safe and a healthy way so that that way we don't get into trouble and that way we don't do or say things that are not very nice and kind. School counselors also help when students are sad. So think for a minute about the last time you felt sad. And some feelings words that might go with sad are disappointed, maybe even lonely. When we're feeling really, really sad, we might call that depressed. Everybody feels sad from time to time. Sad feelings are normal. And sometimes when we're feeling sad, it makes everything really hard. It makes it hard to learn. It makes it hard for us to be around other people. It might even make it hard for us to do things that usually we like to do. And so school counselors can talk with students about their sad feelings and we can learn some tools and strategies so that we can cope with those sad feelings. That way we can still do the things that we need to do like learn and have fun and hang out with friends. Counselors also help when students are scared. And some feelings words that might go with scared are anxious or nervous or even worried. So think about the last time that you felt any of those ways. It's normal to feel scared sometimes or worried or anxious. Maybe we were feeling a little bit nervous about coming back to school for the new year. Or maybe we might feel worried about things that we see on the news. It's normal for us to feel worried but sometimes our worry feelings get too big and they become out of control. And instead of us being in control of our worried feelings, the worries are controlling us. And maybe it's keeping us from doing things that we like to do, or it's keeping us from having fun and doing things that we might usually enjoy. So school counselors talk with students about those worried feelings so that we can make sure we have the tools that we need to be in control of our worries instead of our worries controlling us. School counselors also listen to students when they have a problem. Think about the last time you had a problem. Everybody has problems sometimes. The good news is that most problems we encounter are kid-sized problems, meaning things that you might be able to solve on your own. Maybe you lost something and so you can uh, look for it to find it. Um, but sometimes we have problems that are a little bit too big for us to solve on our own and we might need a little bit of adult help with that. Problems don't only happen at school. Sometimes we might have problems at home or sometimes we might have problems with friends. No matter what the problem, school counselors are there to listen. But school counselors don't only listen to your problems. We also teach students how to solve problems. Sometimes problems can seem really, really tricky because we don't have the tools that we need to solve problems. And so school counselors make sure 
that you have some tools that you need so that the next time a problem comes up, you're prepared and don't feel so nervous to try to solve it. School counselors also teach students how to make good choices. So we have our school rules and just like all the other adults at school, school counselors wanna make sure that students know those rules and are following them. But for some students, making good choices can be really tricky. It takes practice. And so school counselors make sure that students know the rules and, are, and have what they need to be able to make good choices. So as you can see, school counselors help in many different ways. And my favorite part of my job is that school counselors help you do your very best. So everybody has something that they need to work on. Everybody has things that are really easy for them. Everybody has things that are a little bit tricky. And so school counselors just do what they can to help you be as successful as possible. There's nothing wrong with needing a little bit of help sometimes. And school counselors are just another one of the adults at school who can help you do your very best. So you might be thinking, gosh, there is something that I want to talk to Miss V about. And it's important that you understand how you can get in contact with me, especially because we are doing our learning in a distance format to start the year. So there's a couple of ways that you can get in touch with me. One is that you can let your classroom teacher know that there's something you'd like to talk to me about. And then your teacher will reach out to me so that we can arrange that meeting. You don't have to tell your teacher what it is that you want to talk to me about, but teachers are usually pretty good problem solvers too, so sometimes your teacher might be able to help you. The second thing you could do is you could ask your parents to contact me so that we can set up a time to connect. Because we are doing all of our learning in a distance format to start the year, I do need parent permission before I'm able to meet with any students over Zoom. The last thing you can do is check out my website or my virtual Bitmoji office. There are a lot of tools and resources that you can access on my website. Most of them might be able to help you without us even having to talk, but there is also a check-in form that you can fill out so that I am aware that you wanna meet with me. Thanks so much for letting me spend some time with you today and tell you all about me and all about what I do. I'm really looking forward to this school year and hoping to meet with you soon. Have a great day, bye.